So it was actually at Joy Tabernacle Christian Academy here in Indianapolis. Um, I think they've since closed down. And um, the very first time I ever picked up a ball, it was just for fun. All my friends were doing it. And there was a, a Christian league. Um, every other week they would play a game. And um, I was tall, so all my friends were like, oh, you know, Steph, you should do it. And I was like, you know, why not? You know, I wasn't really interested in it at the time. And so actually after that year, I gave it up. But um, I just remember it was in a like small gymnasium um, at, a, at my Christian school. Um, walking out in the hallways, that was where I would go to class at with my teachers. It was a nice, it was a pretty nice little gym. Um, quite cozy, smaller, um, being a Christian school, not a lot of um, competition. We didn't really play a lot. Like I said, we played bi-weekly and so it was a lot of fun. Um, we went undefeated that year. It was the first time I ever played. I didn't really know what was going on actually that whole entire year. So after that, I was like, okay, this isn't for me. I'm done. And then later on, picked it back up in about sixth grade. So my brother actually was the, the biggest influence. So that's the reason why I actually started playing again. So he started playing and I kind of saw him playing and I was like, you know, maybe I want to play. Um, he was playing football at first and then he gave up football for basketball and he kind of stuck to it. Then I was tall and I remember like being made fun of because I was so tall, yet I couldn't really play. I couldn't really get the hang of the game. And so after a while, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this out and I'm going to try to stick to it. And um, all the people that grew up with me in Brownsburg know that I never made um, an A team until about seventh grade. Well, sixth grade was the year that I made the A team. Um, I'll never forget because the first time I had Culver's because my teammates all knew that I was being moved from the B team to the A team, but I didn't know. And so we all went to Culver's and I'm just thinking, oh, well, I love ice cream, so that's great. And um, we went to get custard there and a meal and then I found out. And so I was just really excited. And um, my brother had kept telling me, you know, keep working. And I kind of saw his work ethic and how he progressed um, as time went on. And so I just figured, you know, I definitely should, you know, kind of just keep keep the course and stay, stay the course and just kind of enjoy it. And so it was a lot of fun. And so that's how I just continued to play. And that's how Julian had an influence on me. My, my brother Julian is five years older than me. Um, we have a little brother who is two years younger than me, seven years younger than Julian. And so we're all, we all play basketball at all different levels. And his first team um, was in Italy. And I actually got to go to Italy um, I remember I was coming off of my North Carolina official visit, then I flew to Italy, and um, it, it was just really enjoyable. It was my like senior year of high school about to be, and um, I just remember just, you know, really kind of sitting there thinking like, wow, like you're really a professional, like you get to play basketball for the rest of your life if you want. Well, not for the rest of your life, but as long as you want, and that's kind of what you do for your job, that's your living, that's how you make your income. And I thought that was the craziest, most absurd thing. And I remember kind of thinking like, okay, I kind of want to do that. Like, that'd be cool, you know, to do what I love and enjoy it and get paid for it. Um, what a blessing. I think basketball is grown in Indiana. Um, Indiana is a basketball state and nobody can tell me otherwise. I always argue that. And so for me, um, like you said, um, I grew up with a basketball uh, goal for a while. Uh, before our parents took it away, um, we had one of those basketball goals. We put the sandbags on, all the neighborhood kids were there. And then after a while, our parents took it away because we'd have the whole neighborhood out there making noise. Um, it got really competitive. And then our neighbors started complaining because we'd have 30, 40 kids waiting, sitting in my neighbor's grass, kind of just trying to play. And so it was just a lot of fun. Just kind of like looking at like how I've progressed over the years and how I w used to not be able to dribble a ball at all and or how I used to not be able to uh, shoot a free throw without jumping, just the progression over the time. Um, I wouldn't honestly wouldn't have believed you if you would have said I would have been playing professional basketball. I would have said, you know, no, no, not at all. Um, probably not even collegiately. Probably would have said I would have given it up. Uh, probably would have tried tennis or something that was more quote unquote what I was supposed to do or what's more like me. Um, but I wouldn't have believed it, but you know, that's the good thing. You know, God works in mysterious ways and you never know. It's, he does the unthinkable and so that's why I'm here.